Hello, and welcome to Don't Starve. Now, this is a game pretty much if you took Tim Burton, I think that's, yeah, I think that's how you say his name, and you pretty much uh, put it in a game, because look how loopy this game sort of looks. It's actually got a nice style. So now I might turn down the music, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's got all these things, whatnot. But yeah, I have had this game since <laughs> way before. Like, when the research system would carry over to your new char- like, a new character. It's like you research that, and then you have to get research points and whatnot. No, that's not there, and I don't know why I have these games here, so it's- I have no idea. I don't remember, even remember the last time I played this, but- so let's start this game. Also, that's new, but I've gotten pretty far as play as Wilson, and I, uh, set up a camp, so I have to, like, day 20 or something, then like firehounds came in and burnt down my entire farm and burnt me with it, so you know, that wasn't too good. But as you can see, we have Wilson, the gentleman scientist. She just grows a magnificent beard, which I love beards. But he's, the beard can be used. I don't know if it's relevant anymore, because maybe, I don't know. Then we have the fire starter, which is Willow, and she pretty much can burn things, so when it's dark, she lights a fire. She can't get burnt by fire, which is pretty nice, and just as a lighter, so mm, I don't really play as her. And I'm, I'm only play as Wilson, and that, but this guy's pretty good. But, well, not anymore. Wolfgang, he used to just be really strong. That was it. There was no sanity, because there's sanity in this game now, so that's... That's not good. <laughs> sanity is pretty scary, but... He's decent because he's a pretty much a fighter, and then we have Wendy, who is haunted by her twin sister, and she's not really a fighter, but she's perfectly fine with darkness. So Santi is pretty good on that part, I guess, because I mean she's already fucked up. <laughs> but the haunted by her twin sister is actually a benefit, believe it or not, and that's actually pretty good. But that doesn't hit very hard; it is a downfall can be considered a big one. And then we have the Solus Automaton, the WX78, which I have never played as. But he seems that he can be decent, because I mean, he doesn't need to eat. Well, I guess he can eat pretty much anything. Lightning need kind of contradicts. Usually if it's a lightning storm, there's water, so... I don't empathy much, okay. But yeah, he seems kinda decent. And then we have Wick Wicker Bottom, <laughs> which uh research is really good, but you can't sleep. Oh, okay, yeah, I get I get it. I don't see what self publishes books really does for you. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be too good. Then you have the lumberjack. He's got a nice axe, but he has a terrible secret, which I know. And then you have two unknown characters. I actually know both of them, but you have to do something to unlock them. So that's pretty much all of them. I... Maybe her, just the Santi part. Maybe with some... Because I'd have a mustache. Uh, what? Well, he goes a magnificent beard, as it says. It's pretty nice. Could play as a girl. Nah, I'll play as a scientist. So I guess if I click apply, then the world thing you can change up if you wanna. If you're a sadist, you could just screw yourself over if you want. But I yeah, like this one. How can you really survive in a lights out scenario where it's only night? Because I. It could have been changed, but usually if it was night out and... Well, it doesn't mean like it's just dawn always. But if it was ever... If it was... No, I guess it's, it's fucking night. But... Okay, sorry, I'm getting in trouble by looking at this. But yeah, it's pretty much would be... Yeah, this fucking interruption <laughs> by myself. Yes, discard. But you could... Like, do you have to have, like, a make, 
doesn't seem you'd have to be the chick or whatever, I guess. But even then, she would die. I don't know. But let's continue. Let's just actually start this game. It could be a really short series. It might not even be a series. But as you can see, it's adding back to the Tim Burton sort of thing, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Was Undead Bride? I think. That one I actually kind of like, cause it's Victorian Secret Era. Then there was Frankenweenie. I have not seen that. But if you look at the dog, it sort of goes backwards in the movies he's made. I think it was first Nightmare Before Christmas, the dog's a ghost. Undead Bride, the dog's a skeleton. And then in Frankenweenie, the dog is living. So if you go backwards, it sort of all matches up. I guess we're fine loading. We're loading in now because I'm just getting the buzzing sound of doom. But yeah, this game's pretty roguelike, I guess. I might be playing roguelike games kind of soon ish. I mean, like, a few. I don't know. Yep, here we are. Oh, wow. My ear. Ow. Oh, here we go. Alright, so let's get going. And if you can tell, it, it, it doesn't sound like human, but it's kind of nice. Because every character has a different tone, like this guy's a harmonica or something. I, I don't know. I've, a harmonica. I, I'm getting mixed up my words. But yeah, pretty much, this is the game. I'm, I don't know if I'm really going to explain to you what, because you probably already know. I've played this game for a long time, but there has been a lot of things like that is a new thing. The research thing, I don't really understand. There's actually an ending to the game as well, like before it just survived, which is why I said I held out for so long. I was just like, well, I explored so much area and stuff. And see, we're getting graphical things over here. And this game's a nice game. I don't know why I can really talk about it. I mean, shit can hit the fan pretty quick. But there's also cavern stuff, excuse me. But yeah, there's a couple of roguelike games I might play. If you just want to know, what's your opinion on graphics to viewers? Like, if I were to play a game per se that had little to none graphics, what basically what do you think about that? Like, I'll probably still play it, but, like, what do you think about games like that? Like, this is, you know, me and you talking. Ma mono to mono. Like, to me, really, graphics do not matter. Pretty much at all. So I said I'd play games that, like, none. Do I care? It would be nice, but it wouldn't really work the genre. It would be nice if the graphics were better, but the genre doesn't really work. And get the grass suit. <laughs> it's gonna save your life. I'm kidding. But yeah, let's get see here we got our time. It's called World One because I don't know if I can name it or not. I don't know. I'm just gonna chop down the street because fuck nature. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's well, I'm trying to think. Hmm. What's really the there's a lot of hidden things in this game, I'll say that much, like hidden meters that determine your pretty much how quick you're gonna die. As the days do go on, as I said, I was killed by firehounds, which spew fire, and well, they're deadly, especially when it's uh. So, see, and everyone says different things, such as. Oh, fuck, what's your The bereaved, or. Uh, I can't remember. Wendy, I don't I don't fucking remember her name. Fuck up, chick, I'll say that much. She... We'll say some from quotes from, I think, Edgar Allan Poe. Like, she, well, I guess she mentions the raven. The raven, Edgar Allan Poe's kind of the thing. Also, how he died is quite a mystery. Like, hold on, let's move my mic closer. Like, in, uh... There was a movie about Edgar Allan Poe and like a murderer and he had to help the investigation team and whatnot. That's map. I think you can see my yeah. 
This map's kind of big. Might not even be that big. It's pretty big, though. That's what I said. <laughs> but it's quite interesting because he, they found him lying on a bench and they took him to the hospital and then he died. And they don't really know how he died. Which is kind of spooky, scary. <laughs> I just, I like this game, and Don't Starve Together is going to be out soon. And you know what I'm going to play. Also, you might be like, oh, I don't own Reign of Giants, so I really want it. But you might be thinking, you know, Bowtie Brother, who's this kid? I've never played with him. Well, I have, but I've not recorded it. I was also playing with another friend who does not have a YouTube channel. We played for about eight hours of Gary's Mod, and holy hell, it was fun. Damn. I had school the next day. I went to bed at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. And I wake up at 6 a.m. So, as you can imagine, all of us were tired as fuck. I was fully awake primarily because of me kind of, you know, not really sleeping. Also, I'm playing with just the mouse, like, this, my other hand is just kind of resting on my hip. I don't know why, like, like I'm just gonna stop, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop dogging. <laughs> I was, well, hot damn. You can play with, like, if I, when I'm done chopping this tree down, I can, like, use WASD like this. But I, I'm just used to clicking, so I just start clicking. I think that's actually a new thing that you had to play with. Arrow keys? No. Oh, oh, this piece of shit. That turkey is awful. He's an asshole. Also, bees are nice. Unless you attack them. They be honey. But yeah, he'll sub. Sub, bruh. But yeah, when Don't Starve comes out, I'll play that. But yeah, we played Gary's Mod for such a long time. But then he pretty funny he got grounded from his laptops which made me laugh I'm like really you got grounded <laughs> Fucking asshole. I'm kidding it was a lot of fun even though he is a lot of downsy on technology I'm not gonna lie he was kind of downsy on technology we're sitting there doing something just it took about 30 minutes just to get everyone like set up and ready. Let's see what happens like this. It hurts me. Improve sanity. Okay, that's something. So let's cook up our grub. Bed. It was a lot of fun. We played all sorts of game modes, but <sighs> Saras got very salty. Or I should just say Scott, because I you probably already know his name. This guy, he got real salty, and we were doing uh, retro team play or whatever, which it's kind of hard to do your spells and whatnot, but he was getting real salty, one part because of dominating his ass. <laughs> this improves your health. Yes. I don't know. But yeah, the main sanity is a kind of an issue. Because I don't think it can last forever. But yeah, it, I didn't record it, though, mainly because... I'd actually had to, I was like, I'm just gonna be playing with my friends. But yeah, I I love Gary's Mountain, I play with him. Also Five Nights at Freddy's too. I have an idea. For the third one, if they're making it, it could be a prequel or it could be a sequel. I don't give a fuck. Probably it would it, it the idea works with anyone. Because if you have per se I guess it looks like this. You would have to like if you know what Five Nights at Freddy's, you sit in a chair. Why not have it where you can swivel around to face a door? Like, there's door. Like, you're in the center of the restaurant. Like, maybe it's in a massive mall because it's a prequel to the prequel, which is Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Believe it or not, sorry for spoilers. But he. You could have it where you're in the central and you have four doors, one on each. Like, one on each side, one ahead, one to your left, one to your right, one behind you. And you'd have to move your chair like to be able to see like you have to do a 180 to be able to see that could add a lot of scare factor because you're gonna be able to like shit like flip around that's an idea and if it's 
and there would be no door, like it'd be doorways, it would just be doors, except for that's only if I think it'd work if it was um, a prequel. If it was a sequel, then I think it would be more reasonable to have actual lights. Like, trying to, like, I have fucking my mind just went bleh. But yeah, it, trying to swallow. But yeah, it would, um, have doors and such so that you could see. And put the ammo trunk so, like, I, you have enough, maybe. I, you could add more, but even the story for the second one hasn't even been completely cleared up. Like, it used to be all, like, cut green. This is how the story is for Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 came out, and then, holy shit, the story got complicated as fuck. Because it was contrary to it being a prequel. But there's evidence point towards it is a prequel. Because you have the thing of the old animatronics. Why do they own them? Unless there was a store before that store, which would feel a prequel. But I mean, like, why would you have them? You already have the new ones, which apparently work better. And then why... If it's a sequel, why does the technology not work? Because you're not work. Because it's a different guy. Because uh, so I... there's a different guy you play as in the second one. I'm not talking about this game at all right now. But <clears throat> in the second game, you're a different guy. Is he criminal as well? That's why. Because like you aren't the murderer. Because the murderer, we think, it was not the same thing to do. Well, you know, neither is living. I could maybe kill it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's be risky. Yeah, see, that was too good. I'll stomp you dead, he said. Don't eat monster meat. Don't do it. I employ you. Well, I mean, I guess that's true. <laughs> it did. Yeah, don't eat monster meat. What's really the use of monster meat? I guess it could be used as crafting. And holy hell am I far away. Man, I'm having an issue right now of, uh... There's... I'm not finding any rocks. I got my amazing protection going on right here. Yeah, do not, do not let those spider things get out of hand. They will grow, and when they grow, it becomes hell to break them down. Like, you, you find them, you get rid of them. Like, you, mm -hmm. I, my long game, I, uh, left them. Like, a few of them, and damn, I went on a clear out mission. It was like fucking World War One. It was hell. It was pretty awful. Oh, well, World War Two, I guess. But yeah, I, uh, the Adrian's Assault is coming out on November 18th, and it is 14th. 15th, holy. Yeah, it's coming out on Tuesday, and you probably heard my phone go off as soon as I looked at it. Alright. Sorry, as I might conclude this part, I don't know, I mean. This cuts so really worth it though. Oh, gunpowder. You can never have enough gunpowder. 